Hi, Soap fans. Welcome to the Daily Bubble. This is your 4th of July update for soap opera gossip around social media. Southern California, where all four soaps tape, reported a sizable 4th of July earthquake early in the morning. Victoria Rowell, formerly Drusilla from YNR, said, Whoa, did y'all feel that? Hollywood, 4th of July. Tremor? Lisa Lo Cicero from General Hospital said, I just felt an earthquake, but don't see it on the internet. Anyone else in LA? Oh yeah, we all felt it, Lisa. Kane from YNR had this to say. So a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake hits LA, my house starts shaking, and my kids don't even stop playing Fortnite. Head writer Michelle Valjean tweeted, When everything started shaking, my cat was poised for flight, but she kept watching me, and when I didn't panic, she just stayed put, never taking her eyes off me. And that's how we wrote it out. After the earthquake, I read this tweet, Every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath and start again. All right, so let's start again. It is the 4th of July, everyone, and this is what your soap stars were up to. It started early in the morning, live with Ryan and Kelly. They celebrated the 4th. Looks like they had a lot of fun on the show. Ryan Seacrest tweeted out, We the party people. Happy birthday, America. Eda McCoy, Jocelyn from General Hospital, tweeted, Happy 4th of July from us and Steve Burton's bicep. But somehow... Steve Burton's bicep seemed to be in two places on the 4th of July because he tweeted out, Happy 4th, have a great and safe day with your peeps. Much love from the Burtons. He was clearly at California Adventure. Meanwhile, Rick Springfield from General Hospital tweeted out, Standing in front of Independence Hall in Philadelphia where it all began. Happy birthday, America. Tony Geary and Ian Buchanan were seen together. This photo was taken from Ian's Instagram account. It's nice to see these two still hang out together. And his on-screen sister, Jackie Zeman, said, God bless America. Happy 4th, everyone, and stay safe. Hashtag Independence Day. While those crazy Collins brothers, oh, I mean John Lindstrom, was celebrating the 4th of July, and he asked us to please remember, united we stand, divided we fall. There was a couple notable tweets from Michael, Damien, Chris Van Eaton, and Tristan Rogers as well. Not only was it Independence Day, it was Josh Swickard's birthday, Chase, from General Hospital, and his co-stars showed him a lot of love. Eden McCoy tweeted out, Happy birthday, Josh. You are everything good in the world, and I love you. Maura West, Ava, from General Hospital, tweeted, Hope you're enjoying a lovely cocktail on your birthday, Josh. Just go easy on the horse, radish. You are so loved. Josh tweeted back, Ha ha ha, thank you, sis. Back to Eden. And he also let us know that he was spending his birthday with family. All love. Besides the 4th of July and the earthquake, John Stamos was also trending. People were remembering his emotional speech. Rosemary Brewer had to say, Awesome show tonight. Love John Stamos and as a performer. Lori Pinnell said, John Stamos knocked it out of the park again this year. Best host ever. Okay, get that pen and paper and sign that boy up for next year. While you're at it, bring the Beach Boys back. The Muppets were awesome. And I have to say, let's bring one life to live and all my children back too. Palmer Report said, today was the day that John Stamos finally became presidential. So what about you? Would you like to see John Stamos as president? Elsewhere... There was some rumors about Cassandra Pierce, Jessica Tut coming back to General Hospital. Personally, I love her in every soap that she does, so I hope she does come back. But how about you guys? Did you like Cassandra? Also, more talk about the 20th anniversary for Passions that was today. So look out for the new Passions documentary coming out this year. Laura Wright was on Instagram she posted this picture. Happy 4th, Santa Barbara. While real-life boyfriend Wes Ramsey tweeted a photo reminiscing about last year being tied up. Tamara Braun, Kim Nero from General Hospital, sent out this tweet. Because there was no one whose love I felt safer with, because he loved deeply with his whole being, because his energy lit up every room, 
Because he was a protector, because he was a hero, because everyone loved him, because I loved him, because he loved me, because it's his birthday, because, Opa, happy birthday, Opa, I'm not the only one still benefiting from the gift of you. And her co-star, Ryan Carnes, Lucas, sent out so sweet. And over on Facebook, for Passion's 20th anniversary, you can vote your favorite, Teresa or Gwen. Heather Smith says, I hated Teresa. But truth be told, Teresa did get the most votes. Breaking news, everybody. As of making this video right now, we just had another earthquake here, a 7.1. And uh, let's see how the soap stars are handling it. John Stamos, ex-Blackie from General Hospital, said, I was with Carol King last night in D.C., and tonight I felt the earth move in L.A. So, hashtag earthquake. That's hilarious, John. I'm sure you've felt your share of earthquakes over the years. Well, let's see. Dominic Zampragno, he played Dante on General Hospital. He said, okay, now these things are starting to get a little freaky. Hashtag another earthquake. While Maura West chimed in, seasick over here, that was a long one too, yikes. I felt it, and it was long. It was two minutes, guys. Uh, Dom said back, I thought for a second my dog had ESP for quakes because he was crying, but he just had to take a dump. All right, we've got some more humor. It doesn't look like anyone seems that rattled. TV BFFs, Emmy Ryland said, well, that earthquake was the first ride we didn't have to wait in line for. Hashtag Disneyland. Well, Kirsten Storm said these earthquakes, though. Oh, these little earthquakes. Here we go again. While Haley Aaron, ex Kiki Jerome, she posted a video of her pool having waves and said California knows how to party. Ken Schreiner liked this tweet. I'm sure he knows how it is in L.A. As does William DeVry. Another earthquake here in Los Angeles? Jeez. Well, that does it for today's edition. Let's say a little prayer out to everyone in California and hope that there are no more earthquakes, at least no more 7.0s, 7.1s, 6.9s, anything like that. All right, uh, please, if you like this, like the video, subscribe below. Josh Swickard, happy birthday. He is pointing to you because he wants you to subscribe. Thanks for watching.